Hey family, this is Darlene. I'm sitting here making wire beads and I'm making these wire beads so I can put these on, uh, on necklaces. So that's what I was doing, making the wire beads. And I want to show you how I am making these. And I'm using that 15 gauge wire that I got. So these are wire beads and let's get started. Um, and what I did is I cut a lot of pieces of wire all at the same time, 22 inches. And this is how it goes. So I'm going to take the end and I'm going to roll the end. And the reason I'm rolling the end is because I want to leave some type of hole for the, um, the wire to go through when I uh, beat it. So you'll see it like that. And then I'm going to wrap it one more time. So that gives me at least two holes that the wire can go through when I beat it. So if you've ever crocheted and had anything to do with yarn, you generally would take, because my mother used to crochet. And every time she bought yarn, she would take the yarn out, you know, out of the packet and she would roll it into a ball. And same concept. So we got this and then I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to start rolling around that piece that I curved up. And I'm going to keep rolling. And then I'm going to change position. So this is what I have so far. And then I'm going to roll it in a different direction, like so. Let me see if I want to try to, so you can see. And I'm rolling. And then I'm going to bend the wire a little bit because I want to roll in a different direction which is here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm going to try to, because I, I have to use my fingers. Um, and then I'm going to roll, roll, and then you can see how it's starting to look. And then I need to, I'm going to roll it one more time this way. And then I'm going to change the position by bending the wire and then taking it around this way. And then roll it and roll it. You got to be sure to hold on to it because you want it to stay uh, in a shape. And then roll it and then roll it. And then I'm going to put it in another position and roll it. And just keep rolling until you see it shaping into a ball. And then I'm going to take this part. It's difficult for me to do it on camera, but this is kind of the gist of it. And then I take the end part, that little wire, and then I'm going to put it down in one of these holes where I see the most wire at. So I'm going to bend it and put it down in there, fold it in. And then we have a ball. So let's do see if we can thread it on here and we were able to thread it so that's another one of our round beads and then I'm gonna do one more so I'm gonna take the wire I'm gonna bend the end of it And I'm trying to do it where I can, you guys can see. Okay, so you come up with that round part and then I'm just gonna roll it to where I have two holes that the wire can possibly fit through. And then once I roll it, I'm gonna take the wire and wrap it around the two holes like so, wrap and wrap. And then I'm gonna change the position and then come down here and then wrap and wrap. And the idea is to wrap to try to make it circled. And then wrap, come around here and here. And then 
as you're wrapping it, you can you can see where you can start rolling even more so it'll start looking more like a ball. And then there, twist that wire so it'll fold up here. And then we just keep wrapping. And I think I want to go back this way and then roll it and roll. Just keep rolling it. And then that way I don't like it. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to loosen it up and then maybe take it this way. Yeah, that's more like a ball. And then I'm going to take the end of the wire. I'm going to find a place to hide it, which will probably be right here. So I'll just take the end of it and then fold it in like so. And then we have another little ball. And then we'll see if we can thread it. Leave a bunch of holes so that you can thread it. And then we thread it. And that's how we do it. So I'm going to make a really pretty something using these. I'm going to make a lot more of these. And these meaning these wire beads and uh, some more colors. I'm away for my new bees to come in before I use these, though. And they came out really nice because I was like, how can I make me some wire beads? <clears throat> and then it came to me, well, you remember your mom used to crochet. And I was like, oh, my God, my mother did use to crochet. And then she used to take them that yarn apart. And before you knew it, she had balls. And that's the same concept I use here. Yep, really, really nice. And they are sturdy. And then that's the thing about this wire. Um, it's nice and sturdy. It doesn't bend. E it bends enough. It's very flexible, but not, you know, bend into where it'll easily, where it's uh, flimsy and it'll un undo itself. So these came out like really nice. You guys, let me know if you plan to do any of these. And if you do, you happen to make something using these. Um, can you post pictures in the Jury by BDK Creators Zone? So we can all get a look-see. And this is the beads, the wire beads. Oh, how cool. Oh, let me do this. I'm going to put them in my hand. So they came out like really nice. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. We got some more new subscribers. And I want to thank you for joining the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. Um, our little family up in here of creators. And if you got questions or comments, be sure to go ahead and post them in the comment section. Uh, let me know if you guys plan on doing any of these. And then also join us in the Jury by BDK Creators Zone. That's the name of it. A couple of people had emailed me and said they weren't able to find the group. Um, I'll put the link in description of this one, but it's Jury by BDK Creators Zone. And I had an old Facebook group. I need to go in and delete that one out. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I will do it. And that's the one that people are finding, but it's Jury by BDK Creators Zone. And we hope to see you guys over there. And uh, be sure to enjoy your day too. We'll talk soon.